Hello, Angel Freaks. It is me, your host, Pierre. Today, I'm coming at you from my mother's kitchen. And, uh, about to do a YouTube Q&A. So, let's just get into it. What is your middle name? Nicole. goes with every name. If you ever decide to have a kid and you need it to have a middle name, just give it the name Nicole. It literally goes with everything. Born. Uh, anyways. Share your favorite subject in high school. English. I know how to read. I know how to write. Reading is cool, books are cool, imagination's cool. I don't know. I speak English, I read and wrote English. And like, art class, I didn't have a proper art class, maybe until college. But, yeah, I lean pretty uh, English literature. I studied like British romanticism and I think modern British literature. But then I have this like art degree, so. I don't know. Maybe that's why I'm conceptual artist. Conceptual. <laughs> what is my favorite drink? I would say water. It's the most essential. Um, but also this, this is just, I get bottles of cold brew and I put almond milk and ice. And um, I've been a sober prince for two months and so this is like my only addiction currently. Um, what is my favorite song at the moment? Um, first thing that came to mind was Ariana Grande, Raven, but I can see if I, uh, what the heck else I've been listening to. Um, I mostly listen to music on YouTube. I don't know if that's a quirk. I'm starting to think, like, not everybody, like, likes YouTube like that. Like, I think... There are all different kinds of people with uh, specific interests and uh, and the like, but um, I'm like one of those like YouTube loving people. And I don't think everybody's that way. Um, start so listening to King Cruel again. The ooze is like. A really sexy album. Uh, the new Blood Orange is really beautiful. It makes me cry. It makes me happy to be black and queer and like, wow. I, wow. Dev Hines, I love you. I think we could be uh, friendship soulmates, but um, whatever. I'm just gonna stop at that. I mean, I have a whole playlist here. Maybe I'll do like a playlist video one day. Soon, I don't know. What would you or have you name your children? I'm never having children. Um, I hope to have like a dog in a backyard one day then I will have made it, and I will have made something of myself. Have you participated in any sports? Um, I played volleyball, I ran a track, I did basketball, um, and then I said, screw that, and I became a skateboarder for a number of years. 
and then I said screw that and I became a rock and roller and then I said screw that and I became an artist but that was always there so and right now I'm saying screw that and I'm a youtuber now um what's my favorite book Ooh, Maggie Nelson blew it comes to mind that's beautiful and it makes me want to write a book Maggie just gets it um I also like Bart a lover's discourse he really just got to the to the root to the heart of the thing I actually have like a Bart like inspired tattoo on my leg as well um, those are like my first ones that come to mind, like all-timers. Currently, I really like the uh, Io Tillett Wright's book about his childhood. Just growing up in New York in the 80s, like... I'm like looking for representation in terms of like, um... Like uh, the things I'm learning, consuming, I, I would love it to reflect me. You know, have something to relate to because I generally don't relate to anything in my daily life. Um, so yeah, you can find family in books. Um, let's see. What's my favorite color? I mean, off top, I would say blue. That's like my go-to coming up. It's the ocean, it's the sky, it's the feeling. Um, I don't know. Well, I bleached my hair and then I started to like yellow. Um, favorite colors are not colors, black and white. Um, what's my favorite animal? I love pups. I really love pups. They're so sweet and they just love. They just love. Favorite animal? Yeah, I'll say pups. What's my favorite perfume? None of them. I like the smell of skin. Like. It's like a way that it communicates without speaking a person's scent. And I wonder if like maybe scented things could be like a lie, like maybe you're not even attracted to what you think you are. What if it's like this like science lie, but um, if you've ever like loved someone and like how they just smell the smell of, the smell of their skin and their sweat. Um, I don't know, I feel like that's, that's a, like a true communication without speaking. Um, and then aside from that, I remember when I was younger, I liked Burberry the Beat, and that got discontinued, and that was a great smell. And then I looked at the Lobo for a little bit, and those have good smells. The last thing I enjoyed there was the rose scent. So yeah, my earthy bitch. What's my favorite holiday? I'm not a fan of holidays. I'm just realizing this. It's um, I'm gonna like throw some like mixed up knowledge at you. Like holiday comes from holy day, and um, holy days were just distractions from the mundane and like a way to control people. Um, so like Christmas, capitalism. Thanksgiving, capitalism, your birthday, capitalism, Valentine's Day, capitalism, New Year's, capitalism. Um, it's just like spend money, like economy shit. Like, aside from that, I mean, I guess the things that bring people together in love is like Christmas would be like probably the best holiday. Um, it's like a warm holiday. And then number two from that, I guess... Yeah, I think Christmas is definitely the best holiday. Like, what the hell? We're just talking like classic holidays. Like, I'm not gonna like really dive into like things. Um, 
On a scale from 1 to 10, rate your childhood. Pfft, just trash off the charts. I mean, I wasn't afraid for my next meal. I had a mother and a father and a sister under one roof in a house with a backyard. And just because those things are there doesn't mean that bad shit don't happen. Complicated things happen. Things I have to forget in order to like live every day. Um, well, my parents had it harder than me, but like hard is hard. I don't look back on my childhood with if I think quickly, like, no fondness at all. If I, like, dive in and think, maybe some peppered memories, but I'm just gonna vote trash on that. I'm not gonna give it a 1 to 10 shit off top. I say a 2. But, um, next question. Have you been out of the country? Yeah. I lived in Switzerland for a month at the top of 2017. Went to Mexico at the end of 2017. Um, and then you like drop in countries as you're flying over the ocean, but I guess those are the only places I've been to. Do we speak any different languages? Um, I think if I was like immersed somewhere, I'd probably speak more, but um, Languages, I mean, I learned Spanish in high school and I can like get by. I taught myself French before I went to Switzerland because I was at the French speaking side and definitely knew enough to get by, like traveled on my own, like whatever. Um, and then I recently, well, I guess maybe the past, maybe three months, I taught myself Italian. And oddly enough, I know Italian more than Spanish and French now, like, um, like, just move me to Italy, I got it, no problem, like, I, don't, I can't believe I even did that, um, but yeah, I've been, like, learning Italian every day, instead of doing dumb shit, it's been a good, uh, been a good exercise. Um, but yeah, I'd love to speak Italian, like, I'd love to be immersed in that and, like, practice speaking it. Um, I think I would actually, like, do a pretty good job of that. Um, but yeah, I'd have to be, like, immersed, so speaking, I would just have to be surrounded by it, and then I'd, like, feel comfortable with the accent and all that. Mm -hmm. Do I have any siblings? I have a sister. Um, what's your favorite store? The grocery store. I mean, eating is like the best uh, store. Like, you know, I don't need I like to buy some food and cook it for myself. It's a good thing to do. Um,. But if we want to break it down, uh, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and Kroger, the little health part. But yeah, I'm like, I hate big stores. I don't like a lot of decisions. It's not that I can't make a decision. I just think this world gives us so many freaking options and it's like really not that deep. Like, there doesn't need to be 30 kinds of toothpaste and like 40 different types of cereals. Like just make the best of whatever you can and like sick, like we don't need that much stuff. Like get it together. What's my favorite restaurant? Um, lately I've been going to Freebirds and getting like a nice burrito. Uh, restaurants, I mean, I don't think that's really my jam right now. I've been cooking a lot of my own food. I 
and like I'll go to like Chipotle and free birds and I want like a burrito real quick. Like that's like filling and I don't have to like worry about the next thing. I'm, I'm not a fan of restaurants at the moment. I'd rather cook. Did you like school? Um, that's funny. Uh, school was a way. School was like my only interaction with the outside world, mostly. Um, let me start over. Um, did I like school? I love to learn. I'm not a fan of proving what I know. So yeah, I got straight A's my whole life. Um, I started getting bullied in sixth grade and then it like went downhill from there. So I did not enjoy going to school. Um, there was this one um, English class I had, maybe in ninth grade, and I was just really depressed, not saying much, and like, I just stopped doing all my work. And I remember I would just stop, like, and that's crazy for me, because like, I'm a straight A person. And I remember my teacher, she was like, yo, what are you doing? You're smart, like, what are you doing? It's like, I wasn't doing my homework, but I get A's on the test. And that bitch, fuck, I don't know where she is, but I love her. She gave me an A in the class because she knew. She knew I was a real one, and I just was, like, fucking over it. So bless her, wherever she is. Uh, yeah. What was the question? Did I like school? I mean, I like college. I think they gave too much work. Um... It's not necessary. You know something and you know it. The constant proving, write this paper, take this test, get out of here. Who needs it? I prefer conversations. So in my case, I would need like the school systems to change or like go to some real liberal school or something. But it, school is never a problem for me. It's like, I can't imagine school being a problem. That must be so difficult for people. Um, but yeah, not the case. And like, I mean, if I had all the money in the world, I'd go back to school right now. I would just get my master's and then, like, get a doctorate or some nonsense. Um, I like school. It's, I've been thinking lately that, like, school is a place for nerds to feel cool. So, like, yeah, I'm cool in school. I got the answers. What's good? Anyways, um, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Off top, Trisha Paytas. She's a queen. Off top, I'm in love with Joanna Spicer. Like, it's not rational, but I'm in love with her. Number three, I'll combine them. I'll say James Charles and Jeffree Star, just cause like, if I'm having like, if I'm like in a bad mood or something and they upload like, it's gonna entertain me, it's gonna make me Google and I'm gonna take my mind off something. But, like. 20 minutes, so I appreciate them for that. Um, what's my favorite movie? Um, I'll just say what I have saved on like on a playlist on a computer. I mean, hold on, let me start over. Off top, Jurassic Park. That's like my one of my most quotable, quotable movies. Like. So then on any time, I'm probably down. Number two, people don't realize Clueless. One of my favorite movies of all time. I could probably quote the whole thing. Um, that probably got me started on looks. Like, the steeds in that movie were so good. The jokes were so, like, I think it took me years to understand every joke in Clueless. Like, so underrated. Like, I think I might have been in love with like Alicia Silverstone also, but also Brittany Murphy, like, but also Travis Barker, whatever his character, that character, like skating. I remember watching his clip in that movie and like learning how to drop in at the skate park, like, and there's still times I pull like Travis looks, but people don't know that's what I'm doing. 
Um, but yeah, those are like probably my like favorite childhood ones that are just like top notch. And then like my saves on my little uh, computer is like um, Call Me By Your Name, uh, The Talented Mr. Ripley. Um, I'll just stop there. Those are both uh, beautiful movies, set in Italy, complicated uh, interpersonal dynamics. I don't know. Mm, yeah. Uh, what else? What are some of your favorite TV shows? Top of my mind. Frick. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Amazing. Will Smith is underrated comedic genius. Legendary. Legendary children. Bless him. Like, so let's think about how much joy, like, one person can bring to the world and how, like, amazing that is. Like, and he's one of those people, like, dang, you can, like, make someone smile for, like, half an hour. And, like, how that radiates out. That's, like, amazing to me. Um, but then, like, greatest TV shows of all times, Twin Peaks and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Like, if you haven't gotten into those, like, have you lived? And also, Buffy's the greatest show that's ever been on television. Like, kiss my ass. Like, wow, it's like, I don't even know if it's underrated. I don't know if people are paying attention. I mean, they're all on the internet now. Like, Watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's like, oh, so funny. Oh, so incredibly funny. Like, I don't think anybody knows how funny that show is. Oh, and the dramatics and like, oh, the bad CGI and like, it's like amazing. Oh, just watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer, please. Um, PC or Mac? I don't freaking know. I got this Chromebook here. It sucks. And um, Samsung, personal brand. What phone do you have? Samsung, personal brand. I don't freaking know. It's this. That's a. Uh, uh, the background's from um, a really bad Nicolas Cage film. I have also this great love for Nicolas Cage. I was thinking the other day, if I could like study under any actors, probably be like Nicolas Cage and Daniel Day-Lewis. Like, those might be like the two genders. Um, how tall are you? I'm not even 5'7", but people always think I'm taller than I actually am. I like look tall or something, but I think it's just because I'm scrawny and like, yeah, I don't know. I wish I was six feet tall, then I could be proper scary, proper alien, proper weirdo freak, but here I am, little me. Do you have any pets? No, but I have a adjacent pet. My mom and dad adopted a pup. I named Hazel and I love her and I named her and I love her. Little Haze. She's the best. She's like a boxer and a bulldog. She's so cute. She loves hunting. She can like, yeah, I won't get into it. I love pups and I'll just be a dork. So, um, yeah, that's the end of the YouTube QA. So, um, bless you and your endeavors if you have any other questions comment down below um hopefully interesting ones or i won't answer them um but yeah ain't nobody out here doing it like me so uh i'll see you next time uh love you bye